Hey! Today, the FKX Media team will help you figure out how to install Light Theme. Once you have received the theme zip file, go to the online store tab and select the themes section. Click Add Theme button and upload the theme file. After the theme has successfully loaded, click on Customize, we can proceed to the theme customization step. To customize your home page, click on the home setting. In the background section, we can choose a background color or change it to a gradient. In the logo section, we can choose the logo that will be displayed on the home page, as well as the size for PC and mobile devices. To check how the website will look on a phone, click on this button and select the phone icon. Next, we can show or remove the current time and date of the user who entered the site, text color, and size. If you notice that the distance from the logo to the time and date line is too large, cut off the empty space using any graphics editor. If you use GIF, then I recommend the SGIF service. The next setting allows us to choose the menu that will be displayed, the size of links on PCs and phones, the font size and colors, as well as positioning. We can align text to the left, center, and right. We can also turn on highlight feature or disable, select text and background colors. With the last setting, we can show or hide social media links, as well as choose their color. To insert links to your social networks, click on Theme Customize and paste the links. We have also added the ability to hide the home page. To do this go to Theme Settings and find the Hide Home Page section. When this setting is activated, everyone who gets to the home page will be automatically redirected to the catalog page. This completes the home page settings, click on catalog to go to the rest of the site settings. Let's move on to setting up the header. It is important to choose the menu you want to be displayed. It will be visible on mobile devices. Under the menu link size setting, we can turn the border header on or off. To customize the logo, go to Theme Settings and find the Shop Logo tab. Here we can choose the logo and its size. We can also choose the logo icon that will be displayed on the tab in the browser. To hide the date from the time, go to the Shop and Time section. Here you can hide this block on the PC, on the phone, choose the color of the text and its size. To customize the announcement bar, expand the settings. Here we can set our own text. To hide this block, click on this icon. Let's move on to setting up the product grid. Here we can customize the displayed number of products per page and per row. Next, we can choose the settings for product cards and a filter. We can turn off the filter and choose the text size. This filter will display all the collections you have, so make sure they are properly configured. At the bottom of the site, we can see the navigation on the site. This menu is displayed on the PC. We can also turn off email collection and social icons. Let's move on to the product page settings. This is the page template that will be used for your products page. I recommend not changing or hiding the blocks here, as this is just the bare essentials. Please pay attention to the buttons located under the Add to Cart button. They make it possible to switch between products in the collection. You can hide them by clicking on this setting. If both buttons are crossed out, it means that there are no more products in the collection to which you added this product. So make sure you set up collections correctly. Let's go to the Theme Settings tab to finish setting up your website. To change the font on the site, you can go to the Typography tab. Here are the fonts from the standard Shopify library. You can choose the font for headings and body text, as well as its size. If you want to install your own custom font, go to the Shopify Settings panel and find the Files tab. Here you can upload your font in WOFF2 format. Copy the link to the font and go back to Theme Customization. Go to the Custom Font tab and activate this setting. Paste the link to the font and enter its name. If your font looks broken, make sure the file format is WOFF2. It also happens that after converting a font to this format, it may break and look uncool. 
In this case, I recommend choosing a different font. With the following setting, we can hide the price of the product on the catalog page, name and badges. And also choose the size of the text and its positioning. We can also choose the animation with which the product cards will appear when we go to the catalog page. The following setting will help us change the theme color. Each setting changes the color of certain elements on the site, the name of which is written above each of them. If you want to use a dark theme, change black to white and white to black. Thus, you can change the theme color to dark. After adjusting the colors, make sure that the color of the text and background do not merge so that your customers have no difficulty in making a purchase. Let's move on to setting up the lookbook page. In the drop-down list, select Pages and select Lookbook. Please note that we are now setting up the page template. To add a lookbook page, go to your Shopify page management. Create a page and choose a lookbook template. Let's go back to the settings. Here we can add slides with photos, add descriptions, and a button to them. For example, you can add a photo with a product and add a button, the link of which leads to the page of this product. Once you have completed the theme setup, click on the Publish button to publish your theme. On this, the main part of setting up the site is over. If you have any questions, feel free to write to us on our Instagram account in private messages or leave a request on our website.